Don't drop the ball. Mastering English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we've got a special treat for all you language learners out there. We're going to explore a popular English idiom, don't drop the ball. This phrase is not only common in everyday conversations but also rich in meaning and history. So, whether you're learning English as a second language or just love enriching your vocabulary, this video is for you. Don't drop the ball is an idiom that means not failing to fulfill a responsibility or messing up an important task. It's often used in situations where there's some level of expectation for someone to perform well or to complete a task successfully. When someone tells you not to drop the ball, they're essentially telling you to stay focused, be diligent, and ensure that everything goes as planned. This idiom has its roots in sports, where dropping a ball usually results in a missed opportunity or a mistake that could cost the team the game. Over time, this literal meaning has evolved into a metaphorical one, extending beyond the sports field into everyday life. It captures the essence of not letting an opportunity slip through your fingers or not messing up when it matters most. To help you better understand how to use, don't drop the ball, let's look at some examples. In the workplace, your boss might say, this project is critical for our company's future. Don't drop the ball, implying that you need to manage the project successfully. In personal life, if you're planning a surprise party for a friend, your co-planner might remind you, we've got everything set up. Don't drop the ball by letting the secret out. Here, it means not to ruin the surprise. In sports, a coach might use it literally or figuratively to encourage players to stay focused and avoid mistakes during a game. Avoiding dropping the ball involves a few key strategies. One, stay organized, keep track of your responsibilities and deadlines. Two, communicate effectively, make sure you understand expectations and ask for clarification if needed. Three, focus and dedication, Put in the necessary effort and concentration to see tasks through to completion. 4. Learn from mistakes. If you do drop the ball, analyze what went wrong and how you can prevent it in the future. Don't drop the ball is more than just a phrase. It's a piece of advice that applies to various aspects of life, from professional to personal. Understanding and using idioms like this can not only enhance your English language skills but also help you navigate social and professional situations more effectively. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting idiom and that you'll feel more confident using it in your conversations. Remember, we're all about making language learning fun and accessible, so don't drop the ball on your English learning journey. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.